weeks since we've been at school. I hope you guys had a nice summer. Okay, hello, welcome back to school. Okay, I know we're starting online, but hopefully we're back at school at Everest soon. So, my name is Miranda. Miranda, Miss Miranda, who can spell Miranda for me? Hey, okay, sounds good. Can you please spell my name? M-I-R-A-N-D-A. Nice job, great work. Okay, first question answered at the class. Nice job. So, this is my name, M-I-R-A-N-D-A. Mer and duh. Miranda. Everyone, go ahead and unmute and say good morning, Miss Miranda. 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 Good morning, everyone. Hello. Does anyone have any questions for me? You can see here I'm from America, from the United States of America. Does anyone have any other questions? Me, 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 me. I have a question for you. Vivian? Do you have a brother? I do have a brother. Who knows who my brother is? Mr. Connor. I just asked us questions about the United Kingdom, not the United States. Uh, about the United Kingdom. What is your name in class? What name do you go by? Miss, Miss Miranda, what's your name? And D. What name do you go by? D, T, T. I go by D, T, T. By D, T, T? That's your yes. name in class? All right, other questions. I think that I saw, is this kind? How do you say your name? What is your name? My name is Q. When is my birthday? My birthday is May 6th. May 6th. Okay, go ahead. Let's hear from Ding Hu. The, the birthday is after my birthday one month. One month after your birthday? So your birthday is when? When is your birthday? June. June. And my own birthday is on July. Okay, so your birthday is one month after mine. Very cool, nice. Vivian, question? What are you good at? I am good at dancing. Mm. I am very flexible because I used, I do yoga. I am good at... I don't know. I'm good at science and math. Maybe I'm good at fighting. Miss Miranda. Yes. You are like one juice. I am like what? One juice? Name. And with Miss Miss Miranda, where are you from? In which class? I see. Uh, I'm from my state is called Maryland and oh. it's right next to Washington, D.C. Which class in every school? Last year I taught grade two and this year I teach grade two. So, 2E what? 2E8 two and 2E9. You oh. guys are 2E9 now. That's your new number, 2E9. And that's pretty much everything about me. Now, we will share about our summer, our favorite things, the class rules, and our behavior when we go back to school at Everest. So while we learn online, we, don't, we won't do all of this. When we go back to school, we'll take a whole week and we'll make our class rules. We will practice good behavior, right? Sitting nicely, raising our hand, and share about our summer and what we like to do. We're gonna do all of that when we go back to school at Everest. Today we will, can I please have someone read 
Today we will, and then number one. So you're gonna read all of this. Let's start with Elsa. Today we will go over our rules online. Excellent, great job Elsa, thank you for reading. All right, so that's number one. How about number two? Starting with the word today. Let's hear from Ken. Today we will learn it, start learning about unit three. Very good, unit three. This is unit three in your science dimensions book. We're not going to start with one or two. We're gonna start with unit three. And the very last one, this one has two very difficult words. Who thinks they can read the last one? Go ahead and raise your hand using the button on Zoom. All right, Ning Hoi. Today we will watch a Generation Genius video. Very good. Nice work on that. Generation Genius video. You've all seen them before. We're going to watch one today about living and non-living things. How to use Zoom, raise your hand button. Everyone, go ahead and press the raise your hand button. I want to see that you know how to do it. Good job, Minka, Angtu, Ruby, Dukchi, Vivian, nice work. Okay, great job, everyone. So, Mute and unmute, I think you all know that. Annotate or draw. Everyone, please draw your prettiest smiley face for me. Very nice. I love these smiley faces. Great job, everybody. And the last one is the chat. I only want you to chat questions and answers. Q and A. Everyone in meeting, hello. I just sent everyone a chat. You can send to me answers here. If I say, what are people? What type of animal are people? You could send a chat to me saying mammals. All right, class rules. Number one, cameras must stay turned on. If your camera is turned off, you will not get class points on Class Dojo. You can unmute and say question and then your name one time. If I'm saying something and you have a question, you can unmute and say question and your name one time. So my name is Miranda. If I have a question, I'd say question Miranda and that's it. Everyone, show me your hands like this. And show me how many times should you say question? Show me. Good job, Vivian. Good job, Lavi. Good job, Ming Hoi. Good job, Hung. One time. Three, pay attention and sit nicely during class. Be ready to answer a question at any time. I'm ready for class with your homework. You will lose a point for not having your homework done. Okay, very important. And number five, everyone, unmute and read number five. Have fun! Have fun! And last thing, make sure you listen to my directions. Only unmute to say question one time or wait until I say your name, okay? Let's be kind to each other and make sure we do not talk when others are talking. All right, Class Dojo, quizzes and freckle. Here I have Class Dojo. You can see right now you all have zero points. Okay, quizzes. You've all done quizzes before, right? You will go to joinmyquiz.com, this page, and you will type in the code. And the last one is freckles. So it's Dojo Quiz Freckle. 
you all do math on Freckle, right? You will get science homework on Freckle sometimes as well. For example, tonight you will see some science homework on Freckle, okay? So make sure you check Freckle. Unit three, this is the unit three in your science dimensions book. Everyone, this word is N vi ra ment environment everyone unmute and say environment 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 and raise your hand environment 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 who knows what environment means anyone already know i know how about uh, Zook Chi. Environment is, is a place that many in animals live in. Excellent. Yes, lots of animals live in environments. Who else ha can say something about what an environment is? There's a, there's a bit more. Lavi? It means things that from nature. Things from nature, excellent, very good. So our unit three is environments for living things. Where do living things live? What environment do they live in? This is unit three from your book. Here's my question, ready? This question is going to be four. Lam Ain, where do you think this bird lives. In trees. In trees, very good. But what trees? Does he live in trees in the savanna, in the desert? I don't know. Not sure? Is All right, who can help out our friend? Good job, Mom, I know you're right. The home is a tree. Who can help our friend? My fa. This bird lives in the forest. In forest. Yeah, great work, my hua. Exactly. This bird is in the forest. Why? It is cold and warm. Very good. It's warm enough. Very good. And there's many trees. In the water, it can fly. Excellent. It has water. It has space to fly. Poom said it has many trees. Good job, Poom, but make sure you wait your turn, okay? All right, what do you think the bird is doing? What is the bird doing right now in this picture? All right, big knock. The bird is taking food on the tree. Very excellent. Big knock, do you think the bird finds that food in the desert? No, in the forest. Excellent, in the forest. So this bird needs the water in this environment, the trees in this environment, okay? The environment has everything it needs to survive. Environments for living things. What is an environment? You guys already answered this question. Ruby, can you please read this at the bottom for me in the blue box? An environment is all of the living and non-living things in a place. Excellent! Great reading! Uh, Zui Heng, what is a living thing? Can you give me an example of a living thing? Elephants. Yeah, elephants. That's a great one. Oh, I see Lavi and Vivian said humans and Tu said lion. From the chat, I also have tiger. Vivian said plants. Beaking up said pigs. My Hua said eagle. Nice job, you guys. Great job answering. Okay, let's move on. What about some non-living things? In the chat, I see toy from Vivian. Rock from Ang Chu. Fan from Duke T. Book from Dang Chen from DTT. I see a chair. I see paper. Mm -hmm. I can't even keep up with it. You guys have so many. Sand, iPad, car, 
Wow, great job, guys. Okay, so we know what environments are and we know what living things are. Can you please read this for me in the blue box? Living things can grow in. That word is reproduce. Reproduce. Right, like your baby brother and baby sister. Non living things do not drop air water. Very good. All right, environments for living things. What do living things need from their environment to survive? Who knows what this word means? Dukchi, what does survive mean? Survive means live. Means live. It just means not to die, right? If you survive, then you don't die. It's very important. Survive means to live and not die. Everyone, please read that for me. One, two, three. Survive. 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 Excellent. Great job, everyone. So, how do things survive in their environment? What do they need? What do they need to survive? I need food. I need air. Okay, that's what we're gonna talk about this unit. Are plants alive or not alive? Please circle one and please give me a nice circle like this. No scribbling, okay? I don't want any of this. If I see that, I will be very upset and we will not draw again. Okay? All right, go ahead and circle your answer. Excellent work, everyone. Amazing. Plants are alive. Good work. How do you know, Minkoi, how do you know plants are alive and not dead or non living? A plant can grow. Excellent. Great job, Minghui. A plant can grow. Does anyone have another one? Plants are living things that grow when they have the things they need to survive. Let's watch a Generation Genius video about living and non-living things. Oh, we're a bit behind on time. I'm trying to click. All right, everyone. Can we use movement to tell if something is living or not living? I, I hear a mix of answers. Raise your hand in your video if you say yes. If it moves, it's living, okay? Raise your hand if you think no. Living and non-living things move. Look here, one more time. The answer is no. That cannot tell you if it's living or non-living. Cats move, but so does water. Everyone, please read this blue box about nutrients. One, two, three. Living things Living things Excellent. Everyone read. One, two, three. Living Excellent. All right, this word's a little hard, so everyone look at it and let's sound it out. Reproduce. 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 Excellent. Let's go back to watching. Do you think this tree is living? or non-living? What do you think, everyone? Living things. Living things. Living things. Right, let's see if you're right. All right, and that's all we're gonna watch from there. Does anyone have any questions about what we just saw on the video? Anything you're confused about or need help understanding? What? Okay. Well, what are non living thing because it don't grow and don't reproduce and don't have nutrients. Exactly. It bye bye. Exactly. Any questions?
Okay, everyone, nice job paying attention and answering my questions during the video. Because you guys, all of you answered my questions, you put your answers in the chat, you paid attention during class, I'm gonna give the whole class one point for being on task. That means you are doing what you're supposed to do. Yay, good job, everybody. And let's see, Hugh answered a lot of questions and had good behavior. Vivian, Dukchi, Mai Hua. I'll get better at your names, I promise. Okay? <laughs> First day is a little hard. So, last thing, today we talked about Unit 3, Environments for Living Things, and we learned about living and non-living. Your homework is a reading on freckle. If you check your freckle later, you will see a science reading about what plants need. It's very short, very easy. It should only take five or 10 minutes, okay? And remember your other homework. Learn how to open quizzes on your own because tomorrow we will take a quizzes in class for points on Class Dojo. So make sure you ask your mom and dad to show you or to open it for you before class. Okay, any questions? This homework needs to be done before class tomorrow. <laughs> all right, guys, I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs> great, great night. Have a great day. Bye, everybody.